me welcome uh, Bishop as he comes to take over to give us the word. I appreciate him as he comes. Come on, show me love better than that. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you happy this morning? Have you stand on your feet? Let's go to the word of God. We are going to read in this book of 2 Kings. Uh, chapter 6, verse 25 to 26. 2 Kings, chapter 6, verse 25 to 26. Kings, chapter 6, verse 25 to 26. And a great famine came to Samaria. They besieged it until a donkey's head was sold for eight shekels of silver and a fourth of the cub of dove's dung, a wild vegetable for five shekels of silver. As the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall, a woman cried to him, Help me, my Lord, O King. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless your word. Let your word build our faith. Because faith comes by hearing, and hearing the preaching of Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now is okay, sasa. May have our seats. Now na poketi angalia kulia kushoto. So while you're sitting, you may look at your left and on your right. Just prepare alia kushoto, alia kulia. You you may wave on them. Mwelezi asante kwa kuja kanisani tena. Tell them thank you for coming. Uh, today the second uh, week since nimeanza kuzungumzia when God speaks. So uh in week ya pili kwanza nianze funzo hili. Uh, when God speaks, season change. Wakati mungu anazungumza majira hubadilika. Why this topic? Why this message to you? Yeah, so kwa nini uh, somo hili? Because when God has given us a word for 2022, kwa sababu mungu alipo tupatia neno la mwaka huu, you have to have this belief lazima uamini that a season has changed in your life kwamba majira yamebadilika katika maisha yako and if the season has changed you must be an expectant so kama majira yamebadilika lazima uwe mtarajiwa in other words you will stop meditating on the past so maneno mengine ni kwamba wache kutafakari yaliyopita because the season has changed sababu majira yamebadilika because of the word which god has released kwa sababu ya neno ambalo mungu ameachilia on last sunday uh, we saw we learn uh, the, which was point number 1 so juma ilopita tulisoma uh, uh, kifungu cha kwanza which was the magnitude of the problem of the israelites faced in Samaria. Ambao ilikuwa uzito wa shida ambao wana wa Israel walipambana huko Samaria. And I said in our teaching we are going to have five points. Na nikasema kwamba tutakuwa na nuku tano. The second I said it will be the attitude of the king in hard time of siege. Ya pili ilikuwa ni mtazamio itakuwa Aya pili itakuwa mtazamio wa mfalme katika hali ngumu. And point number three will be the words release change the season. Ya tatu itakuwa neno lililo achiliwa lilibadilisha majira. Then the fourth will be the power of positive decision. Kisha ya nene tazungumzia kuhusu nguvu ya, 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 ya tafakari zilizo sawa the positive or positive decision uamuzi uh -huh. because if you believe what god has released it must give birth to positive decision in you lazima izalishe chaguo lililo sawa if you do not take a positive decision kama hautachagua chaguo lililo sawa 
It may be the sign you are not believe what God has said. Inaweza kuwa ni ishara kwamba huamini kile ambacho umezungumziwa na Mungu. And point number 5 will be na ya tano the tragedy of unbelieving spirits when God had spoken over the matter. Na ya tano itakuwa kisa cha roho isiyoamini wakati Mungu amezungumzia jambo. When you go to see uh, when you go to gym ukienda gym you go there to build your muscle to build your body unaenda kukujenga mwili and you always obey the instruction given to you by your coach na huwa sana sana unatia maagizo ambayo unapatiwa na mkufunzi wako also when you go to see a doctor pia ukienda kwa daktari you consult him because of your health pia ukienda kwa na daktari unamwendea kwa sababu ya afya yako and you obey every instruction which he give to you na unatii kila agizo analokupatia because you love yourself kwa sababu unajipenda you obey the instruction of gym uh, of the instructor in gym unatii maagizo ya mkufunzi katika gym hapo gym because you love there is a way you love your body kwa sababu kuna jeans unavyopenda mwili wako there is a way you want to look kuna vile unataka kukaa and you obey if instruction which he gives to you so unatii kila gizo ambalo anakupatia when you visit a nutritionist ukienda kwa kwa mtaalamu wa vyakula because you want to feed your body with the best kwa sababu unataka kukukula vitu ama lishe lilo bora because you love your body you love yourself kwa sababu unajipenda na unapenda mwili and you want to give your body the best na lazima upatie mwili wako kilicho sawa and when you come to church so kija kanisani it's a place where god uh, to his spirit ni mahali ambapo mungu kupitia roho wake he coaches you anakufunza how to make your life to be useful here on earth jinsi ya kufanya maisha yako yawe sawa hapa duniani how you can maximize your time here on earth jinsi unaweza kufanyia kazi muda wako hapa duniani how you can fulfill your mission here on earth jinsi unaweza kutimiza mission yako hapa duniani that is the reason why we come to church hii ndio sababu kwa nini tunakuja kanisani because we want to make it here on earth sababu tunataka kufaulu because we want to become who God made us to be here on earth. Tunataka tuwe kile ambacho tumeumbiwa tuwe. We don't come to church for for to show at as a show. No. Atukuji no, no. at, at kanisani kujionyesha. But we are here we come before our maker. Lakini tuko hapa na tunakuja mbele ya ya muumbaji wetu. Who have a program for us. Ambaye ako na mpango kwetu. For each one of us kwa kila mmoja wetu he has a manual for each one of us ako na manual kwa ajili yetu sisi that's why we come in his presence ipo tunakuja katika uwepo wake because he, he is the one who know everything about us sababu ni anayejua vitu vyote kutuhusu he knows where is taking us na anajua nako kutupeleka but why we come to church and we fail in this life lakini mbona tuje kanisani kisha tushindwe maisha because we don't obey the things which he, he speak to us kwa sababu hatutii mambo ambayo anatuzungumzia as we obey the instructor of the gym kama jinsi unavyotii as we obey our doctor jinsi unavyotii daktari wako if you love yourself ukijipenda you have to know this lazima ujue haya you, you are battle here on earth katika vita vyako hapa duniani it's not a battle of flesh and blood sio vita vya damu na nyama by building your muscles your body by building your muscle kwa kujenga mwili does not mean you will make it here on earth Aimanishi kwamba utafaulu hapa duniani because the battle is not carnal kwa sababu vita si vya kimwili but our battle are spiritual lakini ni vya kiroho and the bible says na biblia inasema the word which i speak to you maneno ninakuzungumzia are spiritual and has life ni roho tena yana uzima it mean when god speaks to you when god gives you a word ni sio wakati mungu anakupatia neno it's a we it's a spiritual weapon ni 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 silaha ya kiroho which enable you to fight your spiritual battle ambayo inakuwezesha upigane vita za kiroho so that you may become who he made you to be here on earth posa uwe kitu ambacho amekusudia uwe in other words you have to become the doer of the words maneno mengine lazima uwe mfanyaneno la mungu 
for you to live the life of God here on earth. You are not a visitor. I want to say you are not a, a mutali, a, a tourist. You are not a mutali here on earth. You are not a, a, a tourist. Because when the mutali come in Kenya, because when they come to Kenya, there is no project which he, 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 he does. Hakuna kazi nyingine anafanya paka hapa Kenya. Okay. We are here on earth lakini tuko hapa dunia hapa duniani. To make duniani. impacts. Kufanya mguso. We are the agent of change here on earth. Sisi ndio tunabeba mabadiliko hapa duniani. The same way Jesus was sent on earth, jinsi Yesu alivyotumwa duniani, and he changed what the enemy has destroyed. Na akabadilisha vitu vyote ambavyo adui alibadilisha. The same we are sent here on earth, vivyo hivyo tumetumwa. To change whatever the enemy has destroyed in our family. Kubadilisha vyote ambavyo adui ameharibu katika familia zetu. And this change can become evident na mabadiliko haya yatakuwa alisi it's only when we become the doer of the word of god kati tunafanyika watu wa kufanya neno la mungu because the visible and invisible yanayoonekana na yasionekana are the outcome of the words ni matokeo ya neno you cannot change your life uwezo kubadilisha maisha yako you cannot change your situation uwezo kubadilisha hali yako you are the doer of the word hadi uwe mtu you have to become the doer of the word lazima uwe mtu wa kufanya neno you have to change your situation iposo badilishi hali yako no situation should be permanent when you have the word of god when you walk with a season season of words wakati unatembea na neno la majira praise be the name of jesus now number two, ya pili the attitude of the king in hard time of siege waka mtazamo wa mfalme wakati mgumu wa matekwa the attitude of the king in hard time of siege wa, uh, mtazamo wa mfalme wakati mgumu wa matekwa last time we, we, we see how uh, god is work with abraham so na uh, juma iliyopita tuliona jinsi mungu alivyotembea na abraham. all the promises which god gave to him na ahadi zote ambazo Mungu alimpatia but if he, he found hard time lakini alipambana na mambo mazito despite what god uh, spoke to him licha ya yote ambayo alizungumziwa he faced hard time in his life alipambana na mambo mazito even isaac faced the hard time in his life hata isaka vivyo hivyo despite he was the beneficiary of the covenant of Abraham and his father licha yake kukuwa mtu ambaye ange angefaidika na ahadi za Mungu kwa juu ya baba yake but he faced hard time also in his life lakini pia yeye alipambana na wakati mgumu and we we said last sunday na tukasema juma it doesn't matter what god has said about you haijalishi Mungu amezungumza nini kukuhusu it doesn't matter how you understand yourself jinsi unavyojifahamu it doesn't matter how you know the plan of god in your life ama jinsi unavyojua mapenzi ya mungu jamaa yako god allow situation mungu atakubali visa to test your faith kujaribu imani yako praise be the name of jesus bwana asifiwe which mean you attitude in every situation so mtazamo wako katika kila hali will determine your outcome itashiria matokeo yako how what will be your attitude when you face hard time je mtazamo wako utakuwa upi wakati unapambana na mambo mazito because your attitude in any situation kwa sababu mtazamo wako katika hali yoyote will determine your outcome itashiria matokeo when you face the roadblock ukipatana na na, na, na kizuizi when you face impossibility ukipatana na yasiyowezekana when you face battle and attack in your journey ukipatana na na attacks katika safari yako your attitude determine the outcome mtazamo wako unashiria matokeo because problem reveal our stand kwa sababu shida zaonyesha msimamo wetu and what we believe na vyote tunavyoamini if if john believe in victory John. If John, if Manus, ha, if if Manus if could believe, Paul believe in victory, Paul could believe in victory. When he faced opposition, wakati anapambana na na upinzani, his attitude will be positive. 
So mtazamo wako mtazamo wake utakuwa sawa. He will not face the battle as a failure. Hata pambana kama mtu ameshindwa, but he will face the battle as Victoria. Lakini atapambana kama mshindi. You can see it in the life of David. Unazokuona katika maisha ya Daudi. The attitude of David portray the victory. Mtazamo wa Daudi ulionyesha ushindi. When he stood before Goliath, aliposimama mbele ya Goliath. It doesn't matter the words of intimidation which was released by Goliath. Haijalishi maneno ya ya vitisho ambayo Goliath ale aliachilia. From David, lakini majibu ya Daudi portray the victory which he saw in his heart. Ilionyesha ushindi. Bless be the name of Jesus. You are going to face hard time. Utapambana na na mambo magumu. You are going to face the things which uh, you are not expecting. Utapambana na vitu ambavyo hautaraji but your attitude lakini mtazamo wako and our attitude to every situation na mtazamo wetu katika kila hali is built by what we believe what god has given to us inajengwa na vitu ambavyo tunaamini vitu ambavyo mungu ametupatia if you believe god has spoken to you this is the year he will bless you kama unaamini mungu amekuzungumzia kwamba huu ni mwaka atakaokubariki even when you experience defeat hata wakati unapambana na 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 kushindwa you are not going to accept it hautakubali your attitude will be i must win this battle tazamu wako lazima ukuwe ni tashinda kwa sababu spoken to me kwa sababu amenizungumzia this is not my ear to fail usio mwaka wangu wa kushindwa this is my ear to make it ni mwaka wangu wa kufaulu our attitude so mtazamo wetu are built by what is given to us unajengwa na vitu ambavyo tunapatiwa is built by the word given to us unajengwa na neno tulilopewa and your attitude determine the outcome so mtazamo wako unaashiria matokeo even before you go to battle hata mtazamo wako ni wa kushindwa already you are a failure in that battle tayari umeshashindwa people they don't win uh, in the field of battle watu hawashindi katika nyanja za vita but people win in their mind lakini watu wanashinda katika mawazo yao when you have the mind of a winner wakati una wazo la, la mshindi you will fight any battle which come utapigana na kila vita you are not going to run away hautaitorokea you will stand firm utasimama wima because in your mind you see victory kwa sababu unaona ushindi Please be the name of Jesus. Bwana sifiwe. What is in your mind concerning 2022? Nini katika akili zako kuhusu mwaka huu? Yes, you are facing something unexpected things. Unapambana na vitu ambavyo si vya kutarajia. What is your attitude in your heart? Lakini una mtazamo upi? What do you see in your mind? Unaona nini katika mawazo yako? Are you seeing victory or failure? Unaona ushindi ama kushindwa? because your attitude will determine your outcome sababu mtazamo wako utashiria ni matokeo gani and problems reveal our stance na shida zaonyesha misimamo yetu if we believe in the victory ukiamini katika ushindi we will stand firm in any situation which comes in our way tutasimama wima katika kila hali ambayo imetukujia good attitudes mtazamo ulio sawa comes because of the picture you have for yourself the image which you have for yourself mtazamo ulio sawa unakuja kwa sababu ya picha yako kujihusu how do you see yourself before your enemy unajiona vipi mbele ya maadui how are you seeing yourself before the challenge which is ahead of you unajiona vipi juu ya changamoto ambayo iko when you have a picture about yourself wakati uko na maono juu ya when you have a positive image about yourself na uko na image ambayo iko sawa ama mchoro ambao uko sawa kujihusu you will win your battle utashinda vita remember the case of the israelites muka kisa cha wana wa israel among the people who were sent to spy the lands miongoni mwa watu ambao wametumwa kwenda kuangalia mji before starting the battle kabla kuanza vita some of them names themselves wengine wao wakaanza kujipea majina we when we compare our life and the people of this land 
wakati unalinganisha maisha yako na watu wa dunia hii we are like grasshopper before these people wakasema sisi ni kama panzi these people watu had a certain image about themselves kuna vile wanajiona god didn't see them as a grasshopper mungu hakuwaona kama panzi but god see them as a winners lakini aliona kama washindi because all when as as given them the lands kwa sababu tayari aliwapatia mji but them they themselves they have a certain picture a certain vision about themselves compare to the people of the land lakini wao wako na maono fulani ama wako na mtazamo fulani kujihusu kulingana na watu wa dunia hiyo God send them go and look the land how beautiful is. Because the land is yours. And when they go they went there wakati and they saw the people of the land na wakaona watu wa mji they said to themselves wakajiambia we are like grasshopper sisi ni kama pans if we compare ourselves from the people of this land tukijilinganisha na watu we are like grasshopper sisi ni kama panzi how do you look yourself je una... how are you looking to yourself unajiangalia vipi compare to the situation ukijilinganisha na hiyo hali which you are facing now ambao unapambana nayo god has always spoken to you mungu amekuzungumzia It's a year of glory to glory. Ni mwaka wa utukufu hadi mwingine. It doesn't matter who stands before me. Aijalishi nani anasimama mbele yako. It doesn't matter how giant he is. Aijalishi yeye ni jitu kiasi kipi. It's not by my power. Sio kwa nguvu. To go to glory to glory. Kwenda katika wewe na utukufu hadi mwingine. But spoken to me. Lakini Mungu amenizungumzia. Touch me glory to glory. Hata nipele katika utukufu hadi mwingine. It's not about my own power. Sio nguvu zangu. It's not about my own capacity. Sio uwezo wangu. It's not about my own capability. Sio uwezo wangu. It's about him. Ni kumhusu yeye. When you know whatever God has spoken wakati unajua vyote inakuhusu you lower every situation which comes in your way utashusha kila hali ambayo inakuhusu you will not magnify your problem hauta hauta panua shida because you understand the power of the one who have given you a word kwa sababu unafahamu nguvu ya yule ambaye amekupatia mamlaka amen of jesus amen now according to this reading kulingana na andiko hili Verse 26 26 As the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall a woman cried to him Mfalme ali- help help my lord o king Now wh- what we can see in the text in verse 26 uh, So unaona nini katika verse ya This woman was trying to attract the sympathy from the king So uh, bintu yule alitaka uh, alitaka aonyeshe kuhurumiwa afute rehema wanted to draw sympathy this woman was trying to attract sympathy from the king so alitaka avute rehema the way she was crying jeans alivyokuwa analia so that the king may have mercy upon her ndipo mfalme amone huruma so that the king may sympathize with her ndipo mfalme aweze kuomboleza naye and this is the attitude of many people So he 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 ndio mtazamo ndio mtazamo wa watu wengi. Many people as they present their case to people wanapoleta uh, mahitaji yao mbele ya watu. They try to attract sympathy from people. Wanajaribu kuvuta rehema. So that they may feel mercy. Ndiposa ndiposa wahurumiwe. Praise be the name of Jesus. The way she was crying, jeans alivyokuwa analia. The way she worshiped the king, jeans alivyomwabudu mfalme. Oh my lord, eh bwana wangu. Oh our king, mfalme wetu. As she was crying, alipokuwa analia. She was provoking emotions in a king, in the king. Alikuwa anachochea so that the king may have sympathy. Ndiposa mfalme akuwe na rehema. When you are in problem wakati uko katika when shida when you are in hard time of your life wakati uko katika shida ama wakati mgumu this is the mgumu. attitude of many people hii ndio attitude ya watu wengi they want sympathy wanataka huruma 
When you seek sympathy, ukitafuta kuhurumiwa, you will be given just a hand out. Utapatiwa kitu kidogo cha msaada. When you seek sympathy, wakati una unavuta una rehema, they will give you something which will not help you for long. Utapatiwa kitu ambacho hakitakufaidi kwa muda. This is the problem of sympathy. Because you want people wa kusikilia huruma because uko sababu unataka because you want people to sympathize with you you are not here to seek sympathy from people au uko hapa kutafuta rehema na watu you have a god in heaven uko na mungu mbinguni who formed you in his hand ambao amekuweka katika mkono wake who design you the way you are akakufanya jinsi ulivyo who gave you intellect akakupatia akili who made you the way you are akakufanya jinsi ulivyo god who believe in you ana kuaminia who knows you na anakujua You don't need sympathy from people. Uhitaji rehema ya watu. Stop seeking sympathy from people. Acha kutafuta rehema ya watu. What people will give to you by sympathy? Kitu ambacho utapatiwa kutokana na It will be just hang out. Itakuwa tu kitu kidogo. It cannot fulfill your vision. Haiwezi ika fulfill. It cannot bring your vision to the manifestation. Haiwezi kaleta maono yako katika udhirisho. I believe udhirisho. I'm communicating to people who have dream in this place. Na jana zungumza na watu ambao wako na maono. I believe I'm communicating to people who have great destiny. Na jana nazungumza na watu ambao wako na heart makubwa. I believe I'm communicating to people who have dream. Na mimi nazungumza na watu ambao wako na ndoto. When you have a dream wakati una ndoto you don't need sympathy uhitaji kuhurumiwa you don't need hand out uhitaji msaada mdogo you need to meet god himself unahitaji kumkutana you need na mungu. god himself unahitaji kukutana na mungu stop seeking sympathy because of your problem acha kutafuta rehema kwa sababu ya shida uh, kesi yako unalia you are shaking before man unatetemeka mbele ya mwanadamu because you want him to feel pity of you sababu unataka kuhurumie stop seeking pity of people acha kutafuta rehema na watu but you need god unamhitaji mungu do you present yourself jinsi unavyojitokeza your face look problem shida sura yako inakaa matatizo tayari the way you walk everybody can reach you just problem jinsi unavyotembea kila mtu anasoma shida zako zote because you want sympathy masses unataka huruma how many people have seen the beggars in the streets when they want to go home wangapi wameshaona wale ombaomba wakitaka kwenda nyumbani how many what they do wanafanya nini they will change their clothes wanaweza kubadilisha mavazi yao will move their mantle wanatoa zile nguo and the guy becomes smart na wanakuwa sawa and you can meet him na unaweza kukutana naye and forget the same person who was who you gave something na unauzao kwamba ni yule ambaye ulimsaidia na kitu why all beggars they have uh, they wear something which is not good they wear they have a, a manto wako na kinguo fulani kwa nini basi omba omba wote wako na a certain type of clothing kusudi ukiwaona tu wasikilie huruma so that when you look at them you may have and the attitude of this woman when he was crying to the king so mtazamo wa dada huyu ambaye alikuwa akimlilia mfalme he was looking of sympathy from the king pia alikuwa anatafuta rehema kwa mfalme If you want to achieve great things, ukitaka kutimiza mambo makuu. If you want to achieve your dream, ukitaka kutimiza ndoto zako. You must stop seeking sympathy from people. Unalazima uache kutafuta rehema na watu. Because if you stop seeking sympathy, kama atafuti rehema na watu, you will face your problem. Utapambana na tatizo lako. You will face the situation which is troubling you. Utapambana na shida ambazo zinakupambana. You will face your problem. Utapambana na hizo shida. Are we together church? Kwa pamoja. If you don't seek sympathy, kama hautatafuta kuhurumiwa. It means you don't need the help from people. Na maanisha uhitaji msaada wa watu. You will face your situation. Utapambana na hali. And when you face your situation, na wakati unapambana na hiyo hali, you will change your situation. Utabadilisha hali. You will become another person. Utakuwa mtu mwingine. You will enter in the you lead the life which God 
plans for you. Utaishi maisha ambayo Mungu amekusudia. Praise be the name of Jesus. The handouts cannot take you anywhere. So msaada mdogo huzi kupeleka mahali. That why you always see these beggars. Posa kila wakati utaona anaomba omba. They don't upgrade their business. Wa, they are the same. Huwa hawainui biashara zao. Wanabaki hivyo. I know you have some who you know where they they always sit. Najua na mnajua wengine ambao mnajua pale ambapo. Have you ever changes in their life? Ushaona mabadiliko katika maisha yao? Have you ever see uh, oh they have upgrade they, they anything? No no no. Because hand out cannot take you anywhere. You go, you use them tomorrow, you come back. But it's only God who can give you more than enough. It's only God who can give you more than what you expected. It's only God who it's only God who can give you what you didn't imagine. And when you face your problem, when you face your trouble, and when you stop seeking sympathy, if we read verse 27 to 30, which was the reply of the king concerning the matter which was raised to him. Verse 27 to 30, the king replied, If the Lord does not help you, where can I get help for you? From the threshing floor, from the wine press, then he asked her, What's the matter? She answered, This woman said to me, Give up your son, so we may eat him today, and tomorrow we'll eat my son. So we cooked my son and ate him. The next day I say to her, Give up your son, so we may eat him. But she had hidden him. Verse 30. When the king heard the woman's words, he tore his, his robes. As he went along the wall, the people looked and they saw that under his robes, he had sackcloth on his body. Praise be the name of Jesus. Amen. What we can see here, so when the king had the magnitude of the problem of this woman, but if we can, we can go to the reply of the king, the king himself, even when he was worshipped by this woman, even when he was honored by this woman, oh my Lord, oh my King, but the King himself showed to this woman, if the Lord does not help you, where can I find something to help you with? If God doesn't help you, kama Mungu hata kusaidia, I cannot help you. Siwezi ngakusaidia. Because even me I depend on God. Hata mimi nina depend na yeye. If God doesn't help you, kama Mungu hata kusaidia, even me myself as your king, as your lord, hata mimi kama mfalme, I cannot help you. Sitokusaidia. And I remember the scripture which says, Nakumbuka andiko ambalo linasema of kings are in God's hands. Mikwamba roza za wafalme ziko kwenye mikono ya Mungu. The hearts of kings mioyo ya wafalme are in the hand of God. Ziko katika mikono ya Mungu. And God directs it wherever you want. Na Mungu anaendesha popote ambapo anataka. So the king to help you, the person mfalme akusaidie. His heart must be directed by God. Moyo wake lazima uongozwe na Mungu. In other words, God must command him. Mungu lazima muamuru. For that man you are seeking help from. 
Yule mtu ambaye unatafuta msaada kwake. So kwa that ke. person you are looking help from. Yule mtu ambaye unatafuta msaada kwake. Unless God directs his heart to you. Hadi Mungu aongoze moyo wake kwako. It doesn't matter how many long you you disturb him. Aijalishi utamsumbua kiasi kipi. He kipi. cannot help you. Haya atakusaidia. He cannot assist you. Hawezi akakusaidia. Because the heart of rich people kwa sababu mioyo ya watu hawa are in God's hands. Yuko katika mikono ya Mungu. If God doesn't help you you Kama woman. Mungu hatakusaidia. I cannot help you. Sitakusaidia. Even when I have power. Even when I have power. Hata kama nina nguvu. Even if I have authority. Hata kama nina mamlaka. Even I have ability to help you. Hata kama niko na abilities. If God doesn't help you. Kama Mungu hatakusaidia. If God doesn't touch me. Kama Mungu hataniguza. I cannot help you. Sitakusaidia. The answer of the kings jibu la mfalme it pointed the hope of this woman ilionyesha tumaini la it pointed the hope ilionyesha tumaini he was pointing a hope in god alikuwa akimonyesha tumaini ndani ya mungu the answer of the king for this woman jibu la dada huyu he was pointing this woman alikuwa akimwelekezea your hope should be in god Tumaini lako lazima liwe ndani ya Mungu. Your expectations should be in God. Matarajio yako lazima yawe ndani ya Mungu. If God doesn't help you, kama Mungu hatakusaidia, I cannot help you. Siwezi kukusaidia. People of God who are listening to me this morning, watu wa Mungu ambao mnanisikiza leo. Your help does not come east. Msaada wako hautoki kusini ama kaskazini. Your help come from God. Msaada wako unatoka kwa Mungu. It's God who design you. Ni Mungu aliyekujenga. It's God who know the reason why you are alive. Ni Mungu anayejua sababu gani unaishi. And if God know the reason why you are alive. Na kama ni Mungu anayejua sababu gani unaishi. He has all the means to assist you. Ako na njia zote za kukusaidia. When you fix your eye on him. Wakati unamwelekezea. When your faith is in him. Wakati imani yako When ex- your expectation is in him. Wakati matarajio yako yako ndani mwako. When your hope is in people wakati matumaini yako yako ndani ya watu your expectation are in people na matarajio yako ndani ya watu the bible says vile nasema cast is the one who put his trust in people amelaniwa yeyote anayemtumainia mwanadamu when your hope your trust is the human being wakati tumaini lako lio katika mwanadamu a cast is upon you lana juu yako not cast from the enemy Sio laana ya adu but cast from god lakini kwa mungu because he did create you so that you may depend on people kwa sababu hakutuumba ndipo he made you so that you may depend on him alikuumba ndipo so mtegemee he created you so that you may depend on him amekuumba ndipo so mtegemee and you take your ha- your, 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 your hope and put in other people so wakati unachukua uh, matumaini yako unaweka ndani ya watu he is a jealous god he cannot share his glory with any hawezi akabadilika and what is a curse na laana ni nini Cast is the power lana ni nguvu which stop you ambayo inakuzuia which control your life ambayo inaongoza so that you may not move forward so that you may not achieve anything and the bible say cast is upon anyone so bila sema lana ni kwa yeyote yule who put trust in people anayetumainia mwanadamu our trust should be in god tumaini leko lazima liwe ndani ya mungu who is the supplier ambaye ye ndio mkirimia of the oxygen which you have anakirimia hiyo oxygen ambayo unatumia he is the supplier of the gift of life which you have yeye anayesupply maisha yako and this life which you have na maisha haya ambayo una has needs yana mahitaji this life which he has given us haya maisha ambayo ametupatia has needs yana mahitaji if you are alive kama unaishi you need water you have to bath yourself you need soap you need lotion Unahitaji mafuta. You need money. Unahitaji pesa. You have to pay rent. Lazima ulipe rent. You have to pay school fees. Lazima ulipe school fees. You have to you have to do ABCD. Lazima ufanye hiki na kile. Have you see somebody who have been barren doing those things? Akifanya mambo hayo. The life which God has given you. Maisha ambayo Mungu amekupatia. It carry needs. Inabeba hitaji. And God himself knows. Na Mungu anajua. The life which have given James. Maisha niliyopatia James. The life which have given Louis. Maisha niliyopatia Louis. Has needs yana yana mahitaji when your hope is in him wakati when your faith is in him 
wakati kwa ndani mwake he must supply to all your needs zima a supply and my god shall supply all your needs wangu supply kwa mahitaji yako according to his riches in christ kulingana na utajiri wake ndani my god that is paul was saying paulo alikuwa akisema he knew the power of his god alijua nguvu za mungu he knew the power of god he was preaching alijua nguvu za mungu ambaye alimuhubiri and he said to these people akasema watu kwa i know the god i'm preaching najua mungu ambaye namuhubiri he is the maker he is the creator he is the Alpha and Omega. He called the things which are not as they are. The God I'm preaching to you. He will supply all your needs. Anakirimia mahitaji yako yote. According to his riches. Kulingana na utajiri wake in Christ. Ndani ya Kristo. Every need which you have. Kila hitaji ambayo unao. God is there to supply. Mungu yuko hapo kukirimia. The Bible does not say Paul didn't say Biblia haijasema haija and Paul didn't say na Paulo pia hakusema your neighbor kwamba jirani yako your friends rafiki yako your brother ndugu yako your sister dadaku, your colleague um, will supply all your needs no 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 yapana. the bible say my god will supply all your needs atakirimia mahitaji yangu yote your faith your hope Imani yako na tumaini lako in the Lord. Lazima liwe ndani ya Mungu. Who is your maker? Nina, uh, Who give you the life which you have? Anakupatia uzima mbona? He knows, knows he knows all your needs. Anajua matumaini yako. That's why he say in the book of Matthew chapter 6. Posa amesema kwenye kitabu cha Matthew. Just one go down there. Kenda chini. Seek first my kingdom. Tafuta kwanza ufalme wangu. Seek first faith. Tafuta kwanza ufalme wangu. All other things. Allah vitu hivi shall be added unto you. Utaongezewa. I know what you need. Najua unachokihitaji. I know what this life needs. Najua maisha yenu yanahitaji nini. I know what your age needs. Ninajua inahitaji nini. Oh. Give to you back. Nitakupatia. But you have to seek first my king. Lazima utafute kwanza ufalme. Praise be the name of Jesus. Where is your hope? Tumaini lako liko wapi? In people? Ndani ya watu? In your auntie? Ndani ya auntie yako? In your uncle, in your brother, in your sister? Ndani ya dada yako? Because you work with governments? Kwa sababu unataka government? Because you work with government? Kwa sababu unafanya kazi na serikali? Because you occupy powerful office? Kwa sababu katika ofisi kubwa? He can be removed in that office. Unaweza katolewa katika He can be changed. Anaweza katia He can be demoted in that office. Anaweza kashushwa. But there is God in heaven. Lakini kuna Mungu mbinguni. Who cannot be demoted by anybody. He is God for generation and generation. Nobody can take his position. Your hopes will stop being in people. Acha kwa kama tumaini yako ndani ya watu. Who can be demoted? Unaweza can die. Unaweza atakapo. Ex God in heaven who cannot die. Kuna Mungu mbinguni anaweza kufa. Yuko hapo kwako. And the king was pointing this woman. Na mfalme alikuwa akimuelekezea mwanamke. You should not be in me. Tumaini lako alifai kwa ndani mwako. I'm just a man. Mimi pia ni wa kawaida. I'm just a mortal man. Mimi ni mtu wa kufa pia. Ex God in heaven. Kuna Mungu mbinguni. Me as a king I'm not everywhere. Mimi sio kila mahali. I don't know everything. Sijui kila kitu. But there's God in heaven. Lakini kuna Mungu. He knows everything. Anajua kila kitu. He knows every situation you are going through. Anajua kila hali ambayo unapitia. He knows all your problem. Anajua kila hali. He tells me he know the number of the my hair in the head. Oh my mother. He knows everything about me. Anajua kila kitu kuhusu. But your king doesn't know everything about you. Your brother doesn't know everything about you. Anajua kila kitu kuhusu. There's God in heaven knows all your problems. Kuna Mungu mbinguni anayejua when your hope in his he na wakati tumaini lako liko ndani mwake he will restore your life atawisha maisha yako praise be the name of jesus bwana sifiwe in this scripture we can see also pia tunaona the king hidden his situation mfalme akaficha hali yake he hides his problem his problem to people alificha mapito yake kwa watu and reveal it to god na akaonyesha kwa mungu as the king kama mfalme he, he was the master of all nations yeye alikuwa ni master wa taifa lote and his people were suffering na watu wao walikuwa wanateseka his people were in trouble walikuwa katika shida his people were living in shortage walikuwa wanaishi katika and the king was in trouble na mfalme pia alikuwa katika shida but he didn't show his problem to people lakini akaonyesha shida zake kwa watu 
But he shows it to God. That's what the Bible says. When the woman explained to him what the case he tore his cloth and inside he was wearing sackcloth which shows he was in prayer he was in fasting he was looking smart he was looking like somebody who didn't have problem he was in fasting praise be the name of Jesus don't look like your problem. Don't show people your problem. Let's know, let God knows your problem. The king didn't show people his problem. He hides it from people who cannot see interior. He reveal it to God. Even when I'm a king. Even when you have ordained me as a king of this people. Even when I'm honored by all people. I depend on you. I rely on you. I know the magnitude of the problem. I know how my people are suffering. Praise be the name of Jesus. The king had the vision about these people. The people was the dream of king. The goodness of the people was the dream of the king. The prosperity of people was the dream of the king. That is what was eating him inside him. I want my people to succeed. I want my people to move forward. I want my people to achieve good things. But they are living in shortage. They are living in limitation. We are in siege. We are in limitation. We are in limitation. My people are suffering. But my vision is the prosperity of my people. I have to seek the God who ordained me to be their king. Who made me to be their king. I have to seek his face. The king had a dream. And the dream of the king was the peace of his people. Was the progress of his people. That was the dream of the king. So in the daughters and family. That's why he didn't seek mercy from people. No, no, no. He did not. He did, uh, it, he did not shoot the, the price of things. But he seek the face of God. Because he had a vision. vision. When you have a vision. When you have a dream about yourself, when you have an expectation, when you know what you need, what you want to see in your life, you cannot sit down when things are not okay. You cannot relax when things are not going well with you. You will you you seek his face because you have an expectation. You have a certain vision about yourself. You have a certain image about yourself. There is a way you want to look. There is a way you want to be. You cannot just sit down. You will seek the face of God. Do you have a dream? Do you have a vision for 2022? The king had a vision about his people. He wanted the prosperity of his people. That's why he was seeking the face of God. He didn't go to people. He didn't uh, ask everybody to, to be in prayer with him. He didn't call people. Can you pray for me? Can you pray for me? Can you fast for me? No, no, no. He himself he started his own fast. When you know where you are going. When Shekinah will have people who know where they are going. When Shekinah will have people who have dreams. 
When you just shut your mouth, people will know who they are. And what they want want to see in their life. They will not wait us to proclaim day of prayer and fast. They will not beg prayers from people. But they they will become themselves the intercessor. Because there's something which they want to give birth. There's something. They are pregnant. Of something which is invisible to people. But it's visible to them. As a woman carries a pregnancy, pregnancy, the woman knows if it's a boy or a girl. But other people they don't know. You have a pregnancy. You have a dream. People they don't know your dream. But you yourself know what you are expectant. You must seek the face of God. The king was in prayer. Not just prayer, he was in fasting. Praise the Lord. Him being lifted. And being praised. And occupying the seat of throne. But, but he knew there is a God in heaven. There is a God that I can depend on. Where is your home? Where is your feet? When, when, when you face troubles, you the king said, You know, call people. Where is you, you, can, you can look for someone. Oh, the battles. There, there is a God who is that's your father. He has brought it to you. Having a vision of Having a good plan You have to make a chance for him. You have to make a good chance for him. In your busy schedule. You have to create time for him. You chat with people 24 hours. You chat with people 24 hours. But one minute with God. Who carry your life. In whom your destiny is hidden. Uh, who knows everything about you? Those people you spend 24 hours with them, they know nothing about you. They don't know who you are. They don't know your identity. But there is God who knows you. I knew before you were born. Before these people met with you, I knew you and I chose you. I establish you. You need the one who established you before you came to the earth. You need the one who made you. Who established you. Who made you. You need the one who makes you. Who have your manual. Who have your manual. Who can use you properly. Who can use you properly. If you are sawa. If you don't have the manual of this keyboard, kama hauna ile catalog ya keyboard hii, you may not use it properly. Hawezi kutumia visawa. Because you don't have a manual, you don't know how it functions. Sababu ujui inafanya kazi vipi. The people you spent much time with them, watu ambao una they know nothing about you. There is God in heaven who have your manual. Call unto me. Jeremiah 33. And I reveal the secret things to you. Call unto me. And I will reveal to you the secret things. Call unto me in the days of trouble. And I reveal myself to you. And you testify. 
na utashuhudia na Mungu mbinguni calls me in your days of trouble and i will reveal myself to you and you will testify na utatestify if you call unto me in the days of trouble i will not disappoint you i will not let you down the king had this secret there's only god who cannot let me down when I seek his face he will not disappoint me people will disappoint you friends will disappoint you relatives will disappoint you but God cannot disappoint you for me in your days of trouble and I will reveal myself to you and you will testify text God text God who want to know your problem when you are facing problem there is god who want to know your problem kuna want mungu, to hear your problem from you kuna mungu ambaye anataka wewe muambie shida zako when you are facing it wakati unapambana naye so that he may reveal himself to you ajonyeshe kwako do you have time je una muda for him he was the king established king and at wakati mfalme alimthibitisha with these schedules na 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 mipango ambayo imeshikana sana but he created time for god lakini alimtengenezea muda if you are hustling na kutafuta kwako we just small business na kazi hiyo ndogo small position na una una nyadha ndogo it has made you busy nimekufanya uwe busy and you don't have time for god na wewe tena muda na mungu and you are making declarations na unatamka i will move forward nitasonga mbele you will move forward with who utasonga mbele na nani i will be the head who will make you a head nani atakufanya mfano it's god who make people hate the head ni mungu anayefanya watu it's god who take people from ashes and make them sit with great people anafanya watu anawatoka kwenye mavumbi na with your smallest mushahara na mshara wako mdogo you don't have time for god hauna muda na mungu you don't need god hauhitaji we are busy in these days sisi tuko busy sana wakati huu and you have a dream for 2022 na uko na maono and you have a vision for 2022 na uko na maono king mfalme created time for god alimtengenezea muda mungu time will never be there muda hautaipatikana because the devil will make sure he make you peace kwa sababu shetani atahakikisha kwamba uko peace time must be created muda lazima utengeneze time must be created for god muda lazima utengenezwe kwa mungu the devil has made people busy na shetani amefanya watu busy you go to instagram unaenda instagram you go to facebook unaenda facebook whatsapp unaenda whatsapp uh, the other Snapchat. youtube ngine linkedin ngine linkedin linkedin ah uh, ngine <laughs> uh, imo imo ngine eh you, you you are just busy for nothing una una unakuwa busy how much do you make those una unatengeneza pesa ngapi na social medias are you a blogger <laughs> we want you to blog about things now of, of church if you are blogger Come how much you. do you make unatengeneza pesa the tape makes sure it makes you busy and you are busy. making nothing na hakuna unachokifanya praise be the name of jesus amen it's my prayer 2022 niombi langu mwaka huu shall be a year of prayer shall be a year of consecration to your God because he is the one who will take you glory to glory he is the one who will expand your business he is the one who will show his glory upon your life you ma, it must be the year of consecration it will be the year which will give your best to him it will be the year which will make him a priority when you share your problem to status wakati unaweka shida zako kwa status What do you think how many people love you 
by the way unadhani watu ngapi wanakupenda wewe unafikiri watu wangapi wanakupenda how many people do you think love you unafikiri kuna marafiki wangapi how many friends do you think you have many enemies una madui secret enemies wale wa siri and open enemies na wale wa wazi you just know few unajua tu wachache ambao wanachukua muhanga ya kusema mimi ni adui wako anakuchukia face to face that tell you that secret enemies are many lakini wale ambao ni wasiri ni wengi and when you share every problem on social media so ukishiriki shida zote kwa social media what do you expect from them unatarajia nini let him go down let him die eh hey, mama mama acha afe let your status acha status yako publish your work your business your affair ionyeshe kazi yako don't use your status your social media to expose your problem usitumie social media kuonyesha shida zako nobody they are pray for you hakuna hapo anayekuombea they are happy when you prosper watu wachache sana watafurahia wakati una lakini wengi wanataka uende chini majority want you to go down wananisikia kanisa why are you hearing me publish your business onyesha kazi promote yako promote your business on your social media note your problem usio kusisho shida zako onyesha business yako mfalme hakuonesha shida yake kwa watu mfalme didn't show his problems inji alikuwa smart he was outside smart, inside he was inside it only the seekers of sympathy watu ambao wanatafuta kuhurumiwa ku hurumiwa yeah who show their problem expose them ambao wanaonyesha shida zao sorry pole sorry they are happy are you happy when somebody tell you pole una una unafurahia una ukiambiwa pole eh <laughs> pole ah, i feel vizuri i feel now good i don't need pole of the people i don't I need sorry. intervention of god because pole ya watu haibadilishe situation yako the sorry of people doesn't change this sometimes it may worsen your situation wakati mwingine inaweza kufanya hiyo situation ikwe wakati wala kupatia mapole za nyingine kuambia eh hiyo si uwezi hiyo yako ni kali eh mungu yako ni kali watu wote wana sababu wezi mungu inaongeza shida it 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 enlarges the problem ama namna gani kaganja watu wengi wanakuambia pole hiyo kwa tuwezi yona so na Mungu manake mimi yangu iko namna gani? Unaona hiyo kitu? Sometimes sorry of people will worsen your situation. Sometimes it's going to worsen. It uh, inaweza kufanya hiyo hali kuwa ngumu zaidi. Hapana kuonesha shida yako kwa mtu yote. Do, do not show your problem to anyone. Always look smart. Kwa tu sawa. Always when you go out just uh, jifanye kama mambo iko sawa. Be like everything is okay kusudi hata wale wanakupiganisha kisirisiri wachoke so, so that even them that fight you in uh, na huyo mjamaa tunampiga tunamshapa tunafanya abcd we are going against him naonekani hata kama ana shida but he's like he's not shanganya maadui wako bwana scare your enemies shanganya wao wabadilishe wachane na wewe wafuatane na watu wengine let them follow other people lakini when they see you the way you appear weak but, but when they see you weak wanajua tumemshika tena tubambe ingi hold him but you have to changanya wao but lazima wachanganye by not showing your problem to them usionyeshe shida zako kwao by not speaking negativity usiongee visivyo visawa praise be the name of jesus wanasifiwe the king was not ashamed to put on sock sackcloth falme hakuwa ibiga kuvaa mavazi ya magunia of seeking the face of god ama kutafuta uso wa mungu even when he was a king hata wakati yeye alikuwa mfalme the king was not ashamed to seek the face of god hakuwa ibiga kutafuta uso wa mungu we have people in our generation tuna watu katika kizazi hiki small title nyafa ndogo he cannot carry a bible aweza kabiba biblia he cannot show people he go to church aisa kuonyesha watu kwamba anaenda kanisani hello amen amambo ya, ya, ya kanisa ni ya watu wasiojiweza maskini uh, the things watu ambao wanachanganyikiwa is for confused fellas kuna mtu nikupatie bible aisa toka na afike na hapo mtindwa huko na diplomat kubwa sana sak moja ya kali briefcase moja ya ajabu nafikiri ni dola ziko ndani bible anaficha ndani hataki waone kama na bai see a person with a big wa kristo wa kisasa lakini mfalme even when he was a king 
Lakini mfalme was not ashamed to seek the presence of God. Hakuwa anaibika kutafuta uso wa Mungu. No title, no position. Hakuna title, hakuna nyadhi. Should deny you your time with God. Inafaa kukunyang'anya wakati wako na Mungu. No position, no title. Hakuna position na Never allow it in your life. Usikubali. Never allow it in your business. Usikubali katika be- Our brother Muslim know this. The Muslims wanajua hii. Hata ukuje na bilioni ikifika yusa yake anaweka mkeka ana ala anafanya mambo yake hata iko kwa barabara when when amuwaonake when the hour reaches no matter how too much of hata iko kwa street ikifika sehemu ambayo anatoka anaweka mkeka hapa anaomba kweli amapana ambia tu mkristo nikute manuse town eh manuse kuminga tu nane na nisikia nikuombe bwana eh atakuwa na wasiwasi is going to be very terrifying kwangu hivi hawezi kunyombea hii Tulisikia yule pastor mwingine usimwambie bwana asifiwe. Asiwe na nyichomea. Hata kama ni vichekesho but it's not come kwa mchungaji. Mm. Haibashi kuja. Bwana kwambia bwana usimwambie hapana usiniambie bwana asifiwe na nyichomea. Eh eh. Bwana asifiwe. Kuna mtu amwezi yomba naye kwa barabara. There's some people who cannot pray with you on the road. How is it? Lakini wa ndugu zetu wa Islam, bataweka mkeka hapa naomba. Going to put his mkeka kweli ama hapana amen the king was not ashamed to seek the face of god mfalme hakuibika despite the position he occupied in the society licha ya nyadhifa yake katika jamaa never allow your situation your position usikubali deny your time your fellowship with god usikubali nyadhifa yako ikunyime wakati if you want to see god kutakumwona mungu if you want to see the power of god kutakuwa nguvu za mungu you have to create time for him lazima mtengenezee wakati let me finish this just nikimalizia another issue kisa kingine we have we are in conflict of many people to katika vita watu wengi we hate some people tunachukia watu wengi because they didn't meet our need kwa sababu hawakupata mahitaji yetu hawakupatana na mahitaji yetu hawakukutana na hawakutusaidia they did not help us like the king here kama mfalme mama alienda kwa mfalme amsaidie The woman went to Na mfalme kama kama Mungu akusaidie mimi nitakusaidia na nini? And the king said well, what will I help you with? The expectation of this woman matarajio ya dada huyu. Alijua kama mfalme anaweza kila kitu, ana kila kitu. He knew the king has everything. Unaweza kuona brother James hapo. You can see brother James. The way kiwango Mungu amemfikisha ndani. The level that God has taken. Na unamwendea. And you go to him akusaidie for help. Kulingana na gisu umemwona due to how you have seen na wakati hakusaidie and when it doesn't unamchukia you, you hate him hakukusaidia kwa sababu hapendi he didn't help you because he does not want to lakini kwa sababu pia alikuwa na shida zingine because he also has some problems kwa sababu ya kutiweka tumaini yetu kwa watu tuna 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 wadui na watu wengi because of depending on people bwana asifiwe praise the lord tuna tuna wadui na watu wengi We have a Na kwa sababu James hayuko kama mfalme. Because James is not like the king. Huyu mfalme alikuwa na moyo ya kuvunjika. This this king had a broken heart. Hakujifanya kwa sababu anamuita mfalme aseme nini naweza kila kitu. He did not say I'm able to do everything. Lakini akaonesha mama mimi kama Mungu akusaidie siwezi kusaidia. But the woman if God won't help. Lakini James ama mtu misisi wanadamu the nature of yetu sisi. But the nature of you wakati mtu anakuinua anakupea sifa when someone praises you. Hawezi kumuonesha ya kwamba kuna vitu hauwezi kumfanyia. You cannot show them that there some things. Wakati ninaomba manuse manuse mahitaji 1200. Say manuse I need like 200. Na nimemuita wewe ndiye boss wetu. Wewe ndiye mheshimiwa wetu. Wewe ndiye kiongozi wetu. Yote yameo letu. Nimesha msifu hivi. I've already praised him. Manusa na hizi sifa zote nimepewa. With all these. Mimi mwenyewe sina hata 1500 na wananitisha 1200. I don't have a five. Kile manusa atafanya atanipea appointment. Just see me in my office. Nione katika ofisi. See me at 8. Nione saa mbili. Manusi 6 ameondoka. At 6 unafika tu ni secretary hapo. You find the secretary Piga simu ina kutumia message hapo hapo ina kureply I will call you back. Nitakupigia. Shali kupromise atakupea. He promised. Unaendelea kumtafuta. Anakupea appointment 20. He gave you a uh, 20 appointment. Kwa sababu yeye hataki kuonesha ya kwamba hawezi kutatua shida yake. He doesn't want to show that he can. Lakini mfalme alikuwa na hiyo kunyenyekevu ya kuonesha kwamba siwezi. But the king knew that he cannot be Mungu peke yake. 